But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. The promise. The rulership. When the most high comes back. Free I will I establish. Will I what? Will I establish? Will I establish when I provoke to thirty future prophecy it happened. Pulling my people out of these churches, big head, and they clapping. Preacher line, getting money, bro, we call it trapping. Son of man, your how was shot, bro, he gon' be snapping. Told us who we are, now we know we read that. Told us who we are, now we know we read that. We bid them back and build them up, put a tribe there. Our precious people unto God, they never told you that. Told us who we are, now we know we read that. Told us who we are, now we know we read that. We bid them back and build them up. Step by step, I'm gonna go real slow because you're not gonna get this under path. Give me Jeremiah 17 and read that. Verse. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So we discontinue from our heritage. So what was our heritage? Did we celebrate Christmas, New Year's, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day? Do we celebrate all those things? Yeah. Because see, they our history. They start our history out of slavery, but our history really begins back in Egypt. We've been in seven captivities. Israel been in seven captivities. The worst, the worst captivities we were in was the, in Egypt during the time of Moses. That was one. The worst, the, that was the bondage. This captivity, 1619 transatlantic slave trade, was was child slavery as well. It, it's, it's also the worst slavery that we ever been in. And we're going to get that through the scriptures. I'm going to show you in the Bible. Because your pastor ain't going to show you this. I'm going to educate you through the Bible. Not by my words. Not by what I say. What this Bible say. The King James 1611 Bible. From thine From thine heritage. Our customs, our tradition. We celebrate Passover. We celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. We do the Day of Atonement. The Feast of Pentecost. The Feast of Purim. These are our heritage that we will celebrate during the time of Moses. That's what we were doing when we came out of Egypt. And all those different things. That's what we're supposed to be doing for a generation. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. To serve our who? Enemies. Our friends. Enemies. Our brothers. Enemies. Who's our enemy? Who's been our enemy? Who's been our mortal enemy? Throughout. Who's our ancestors' enemies? The white man. The white man. The white you know what, sister? You're right, but he ain't the only enemy. The Arab man, the Chinese man, the uh, East Indian man, the African, because we're not African. Let me, let me stop. Let me, did we finish that? We got to finish that. Before we go. I'm going to show you that we're not African. Read that. In a land which thou knowest not. In a land which thou knowest not. Did we, did we know this land when we came over here on slave ships? We did not know this land. This land was foreign to us. We came out of Egypt. Moses, we was, uh, Abraham was promised the land of Canaan. Which is Africa. We promised that land was so called Africa. But really it was called the land of Ham. We're from Jerusalem. That's our homeland, Prince Reed. For ye have kindled a fire. Because we made God angry because we didn't keep the commandments. That's right. We disobeyed God's laws because we got a covenant to keep the commandments. The commandments are not done away with. We don't honor. In mind anger. With his anger, we don't. Which shall burn forever. Which will burn forever. This is our last captivity before Yahweh shall, we call Jesus Christ, come back and deliver us from this captivity. Which you can read in the book of Revelations. You can read in the book of Daniel. You can read in the book of Ezekiel. Your pastor don't teach you these things. 
give me uh, Exodus 11 and 7. I'm going to show you we're not African. Because just because we black and melanated, they don't mean we the same people. That's, That's like right. saying the Japanese and Chinese is the same. Jeez. But if you go to a Chinese man, he'll tell you I'm Chinese from, from Kwang Pong. And the Japanese man, he'll tell you he's from Tokyo. They may look alike, but they ain't the same. They look alike, right? They got slanted eyes, but they the same people. So why do they say we African? Okay. Because we're not. You got it, right? So you say who we are? We are the Israelites, the children okay. of the Okay, why Israelites? Right here. So you, right here, I'm glad you Judah. asked that question. That's, that's what, Judah. Yes, that's that's Judah. Black. Yeah, African American black, right? That's right. Who, right. Correct. That's who we are. And all the other nations. Jacob had 12 tribes. We, we, let me look. We was 12 tribes. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And where Jacob was named was later changed to Israel. That's right. And so okay. now we're we're the children of Israel. Okay. That's but why we're in bondage. But it was twelve tribes of Judah. It's called, it's called it's twelve tribes. There were three tribes, the three hierarchical tribes was Judah, Benjamin, and oh, Levi. Yeah. Those are the ones that came over in captivity on the slave ship. Right. The other nations, they were already over here. But that's okay. a deeper that's a deeper lesson. But they also went into slavery too. Actually, the Native American Indians. My great grandmama, great 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 grandma was a Native American Indian. Uh, she was an Indian. My so some of so Mom. some right. I'm sorry. You want to say something? No, my dad is from. I was uh, saying what you were saying. Yes, ma'am. So they was already over him. So they went into slavery before we did. They went into slavery in 1492, around the 1500. They brought a Benjamin, like you were saying, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. We came over him doing the slaves and trans slave trade. Did you know this was in the Bible? Did you know this right here was historically in the Bible, it was prophesied that a prophecy that's already been fulfilled? Yeah, right. Did you know that? You don't see somebody going to school here? Uh, yeah. did, you, did, you, did, you, did you know that this was prophesied in the Bible? Let me show you because if your, your, your ministers don't show you this in the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy. And I'm going to show you why we went into slavery, too. Read on. Chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall be Egypt. Egypt again with ships. Egypt again with ships. You remember the, mold, the, remember the, the movie Moses, right? The Ten Commandments. That movie, figuratively speaking, that movie was done right with the exception of the characters were white, but really they were like us. But everything in that movie, they took something out of that movie. It's suspicious with Moses. Put his hand in his bosom, his hand in his wife, and then he put his hand back in his bosom and came out black again. They took that out the movie. That's an old movie. But we're gonna show you that our our uh our slavery was predicted by Moses in Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. Oh, you had that? Oh, oh, oh. No, go ahead on Deuteronomy 68. No, 68. No, okay. All right, the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery. Egypt is a symbolic term. For bondage. It's Greek for bondage. And the slavery again is bondage. Egypt means bondage. When you look at your dollar bill, what does this what does this nation represent? America is also spiritually Egypt. America is spiritually Babylon. You get that in Revelation. It's spiritually, it's spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. What goes on in America now? Men can be with men. Women can be with women. You know, uh, transgenderism, all these different things. We That's living right. in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah right now, spiritually. King Solomon said there's nothing new under the sun. There's no end to all the people. What was once there back then is what it is now. It's just a that's the devil right there right. trying to disrupt you from learning oh, yeah. this word. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you already know. That was the devil too. Right. Finish reading, go ahead. Huh? Finish the book. Yeah, finish. Again with ships. Read on. By the way, we're on. So what nation of people come on or come over here with ships? What nation of people came over with ships? Us, us, right? And some of the Native Americans went over to the Spain on ships too. But we were mostly came on ships, cargo slave ships. But these really wasn't ships. I mean, they was these ships was was uh, designed to transport goods. That's why you always talk about, oh, they, they just squashed us in there. They squashed us in there because we was on, we, we slept on, we slept on, on, on benches where canned goods and food and stuff was stored. So they cramped us in there. So they was cargo ships, but they transferred them over to slave ships. That's why we was cramped in there like that. So you don't tell you, this is in the Bible. We read this out of Deuteronomy 28. This was already prophesied. We don't know. I expect unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You shall see what no more again? Your homeland. Okay. 
Yeah, but anyway, the uh, the the, the uh, you uh, finish reading that out. Thou shalt see it no more again. Yo, see, no more. Give me Galatians 20 and 4. We're gonna show you what you're not gonna see no more. You're not gonna see your land no more. Again. Our homeland. We're gonna see Matthew talks about when we flee to the mountains during the time of Christ. The mountains, in, in, in that term, we fled in Africa, running away from persecution from the Romans. Every time we got in trouble, we ran into Africa. That's how we ended up there, all in the land of Ham. Read that out. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Jeez. But Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which is above is free. Which Jerusalem is above is free. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the mothers of us all. So if we never see our land no more again, we actually came from Jerusalem. Yeah. Those people over there, those white people, they're not the real Jews. We the real Jews. They mm -hmm. call themselves Jewish. Ish means pertaining to. That's right. Do we go around calling ourselves Jews? Because they, they give me, uh, give me, uh, we're going to get that, but we're going to finish this first. Then we're going to go to uh, Revelation 3 and 9. Uh, and, uh, we'll finish reading that real quick. We we'll finish that? Sure. Now, thou shalt see it no more again. Your land no more again, which is Jerusalem, read. In there. Ye shall be sold. You shall be sold. Unto your enemy. What happened to us when we came over here? We were, uh, like you said, we were sold to the white But this people. in the Bible. That's right. So why why didn't it teach us this when we went to black history in high school? Why didn't it teach us this in the Christian church? But why? But, but see, you have a dialogue. So but why are pastors not going to the Bible and talk about the church? No, they know. Pastors know. They've been to theological school. They know. But it doesn't profit them to say that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the chosen people of God. Because they won't get their money. That's right. They won't get their money. Or they, uh, 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 what they call it, 501c3. Right. 401 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Read on. For bond men. For bond men, for, for slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall what? And no man shall buy you. Huh. But we were sold. But the Bible said buy. So let's get some understanding. Buy is a whole Hebrew term that talks about uh, no one is going to redeem you. That's right. If you go back into the scripture, the, on the Hebrew, in the Hebrew Bible, in the Hebrew, we don't teach Hebrew because we're nobody be able to explain it. We have to teach you an English, stammering lips in another tongue. So when the Bible talks about a stammering lips in another tongue, it ain't talking about about blah, 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 blah. It's talking about speaking a different language. That's because right. the Most High knew we was going to go into captivity. We was going to be on our slave master. So he, he through, through, uh, through the scriptures, through the prophets, and the translation, they translate the Bible to English so we can teach the people we're going to be trying to be back to the land. So we're going to go back to the land. So no man will buy you means nobody's going to redeem you. Not Jesse Jackson, not Malcolm X, not Marcus Garvey. No man is going to redeem you out this captivity. Because contrary to probably, it may not seem like we're in captivity. But we got nice cars, we live in nice houses, some of us got good jobs, some of us got businesses. But we're still in captivity. But we got to go to the white man for everything. Give me, so you should understand with that. Now, let's give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1, and then we're going to read a little bit of that, and I'm going to show you what's what happened. And then we're going to go into the curses, because we're under the curses. We're under the curse. That's why our people get shot down in the street, because we disobey God's commandments. But if we keep the commandments, the Most High is going to bless us. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass. Read. If thou shalt hearken. If thou shalt what? Hearken. If thou shalt listen. Read. Diligently. Read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe. To observe. And to do all his commandments. And then you can get uh you can get all the commandments in uh chapter 11, right? Leviticus chapter 11, all the commandments. Right? That was 21. Chapter 11, Leviticus chapter 11, you can get all the commandments. If you go read Leviticus, all the commandments ain't done away with. Christ didn't come to do away with the commandments. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you that in Matthew. The commandments are still relevant today. That's the only way you can please God. That's the only way you can go to God. You can get that in 1 John. Finish reading that. Which I command thee. All the commandments. 
this day, this this day, right now, that the Lord thy God, 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 God set thee on high, set thee on high, will give you everything above all nations, above all just states, nations above our cities, nations above all nations. He's gonna put the twelve tribes of Israel above all nations because that's the way it was supposed to be anyway. God created us above all the nations. We the people. Give me, we're going to stop right there, hold that. I want you to go to 2 Ezra 6 and 54, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you about the curses. With that right there, what it was saying was, if we diso if we obey God and kept the commandments, He will put us above all nations. I'm going to show you that we're different from other people, but I'm going to start here in 2 Ezra 6 and 54 first, so you can get better understanding. Read that out. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. Read. And after these, Adam also, Adam, Adam, right, read, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So we know in the book of Genesis that God made Adam and Eve and made them above all people, even the animals, right? You remember that, read on, huh? Of him come we all. Of him come we all. The white man, the Chinese man, the East Indian man, all men of the earth come to Adam and Eve because we can make babies that are white, but they can't do it. We can make albino babies, right? Women, a black man and a, a black woman can make a baby without melanin. We are the we are the creators of God created Adam and Eve, and they were dark skin people because He created them for the dust of the We can get that in Genesis. We don't, huh? And the people, and the people also, whom Thou hast chosen. And start again. I want you to catch this. Read that again at the top. Whom Thou made us Lord of all Thy creatures, made us Lord of all Thy creatures, of Him. Come we all. Everybody come from Adam. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did he choose? Most High chose a certain group of people. That's what people have a hard time understanding. Because everybody believes that God created everybody and everybody's going to go in one big melting pot and, 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 and everybody just got to love each other. But that's not biblical. God has a chosen people. He chose the children of Israel. Everybody ain't going to get this. Because they weren't given the commandments. We don't. Uh, All this have I spoken before thee. Read. Oh Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. No, for the whole world's sake. For our sake. For the white man's sake. For our sake. For the Chinese man's sake. For our sake. Our, that's possessive. He's talking about the children of Israel. Even though we all come from Adam, God has a chosen people. You have a child. I have a child. Now you might love my child. Well, who child are you going to choose first? If you was on a cliff, and both children was on a cliff, and one get ready to jump, your child about ready to jump, who you going to grab first? A mother's instinct going to be to grab my child first. So God is the same way. God has a chosen people. And that's what people don't understand. You know, you know what I mean? As for other people. As for the other people. Which also come of Adam. He said, as from the other people, which also come from Adam. Now say that again. As for the other people. As for the other people. The, the, the whites, the Chinese, the East Indian man. As for the other people. See, this is going to be hard for people to understand. They just can't get it. Read on. They say what? Which also come from Adam. And they came from Adam just like we come from Adam. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. I didn't write it. That's what the, that's what the Bible says. So your pastor ain't going to be able to teach you that. He's not going to be able to teach you that in the church. Go give me whatever you got in the book of The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Read. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant. And Israel, who I have chosen. He said, you see that again, Cap? Yeah, now here, O Jacob, oh, my servant. O Jacob, my servant. Be the most high servant. And Christ is our servant. He's our king. He's our master. He's our brother from the tribe of Judah. We don't have And Israel, who I have chosen. And Israel, who I have chosen. Bags up what the brother just read over here in second edit. Because one thing about what we do, we the prophets. We the prophets of the most high. We go about what the Bible says. We don't make up our own opinion. If we don't say what well, come out this Bible, you need to walk away from them. If somebody teaching you and they give you one scripture, and see what Captain was doing, he came up here to bag up this other scripture. Because it's precept upon precept. 
precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line, here little and there little. They got to bag it up. You got to have witnesses. Not just get up there in front of the church and give you one scripture and y'all say, and we sang for 45 minutes. That's not teaching you nothing. You know, uh, the book of the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, and verse 8. Read. But thou Israel, but thou Israel, art my servant, art my servant, Jacob, who I have chosen. Jacob, who I have chosen, the twelve tribes of Israel, which later name was changed to Israel. Read. The seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham. My friend. I, and Abraham had another son called Ishmael. That's right. And you got that pretty son. Go to that pretty but you know, Ishmael. But he but we need to go back to the curse. I really want them to get this. But Ishmael, but we but Ishmael, but God, but uh he chose Isaac. So we did chose him, but then Isaac had Jacob. And Jacob had a brother called Esau, which is the white man, which is the book of Genesis, chapter 25. But there's only one chosen people the spirit of Israel. Go back to 28. The book of Genesis, chapter 17, and verse 20. Read. And as for Ishmael, as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have blessed thee. I have blessed thee. What have you been blessed with? Ishmael was blessed with. What the Arabs? See, they got the name. We know who they are, because we the prophets. We know who Ishmael is. Ishmael is the Arabs. They're the Arabs of the Saudi Arabia. I've been to Saudi Arabia. I've been to Bahrain. I've been to Dubai. I've been to all the places over there. I've been to every one of them. And I know that they're Israel. They're the Arabs. They got all, they got all kinds of stuff over there. They was blessed. They was truly blessed. They got a lot of stuff. They got silver and gold, uh, rose horses and everything over there. Beautiful buildings. They got many wives, all kinds of stuff. They are blessed. But they ain't got this. Go ahead, Bob. And I will make him fruitful. And I will multiply him exceedingly. He, but they got plenty of money. They got all the oil, the big old tails. They got everything. Read on, Bob. He they religion Islam, yeah. thank you, Cap. Uh -huh. yeah. Twelve princes shall he forgot. Twelve princes shall he forgot. You know. And I will make him a great nation. He's a great, they're a great nation. They got plenty of everything. They control all the oil. They got the OPEC and all that. Read on, huh? Verse 21. Read. But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. But my covenant. But my covenant. But my covenant. The promise. The rulership. When the most high come back. Read, I will I establish with I what? Will I establish with Isaac? Well, I will establish with Isaac, which is Jacob's son, with the twelve tribes of Israel. We get the covenant. We get the promise. So right now we under affliction. Strong dummy. Dummy.